Welcome back to Sarah Assist. Adam here and stick around for the latest transfers and transfer rumours from the last seven days. If you like this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you've not signed up to Sarah yet, use the link in the description below to get a free limited card and 30 incoming cards. So as I say, today I'm going to be highlighting some favourable Sarah player transfer news and rumours. All these reports are from reliable sources. As always though, do your own research and all the information featured in this content is financial advice. Okay then, let's see the latest transfer news and rumours then. So first up, we've got news that Lucas Chavez is a new signing for Hurricane in the Argentina division. And is on loan for six months with an option to extend it for another year if they did wish to do so. Now, Chavez is obviously a goalkeeper who was playing for Argentina Juniors. Did go out of favour though due to an injury that he sustained. But he is a fantastic goalkeeper and I think he's going to do very well at Hurricane. He's going to be the first choice as well for them, I believe. He's only 26, his limited is going for £100, and his rare is going for around 559 at the moment. But he's got some really good scores here when he was playing for Argentina Juniors before his injury. As you can see, he's got 27 clean sheets as well for Argentina Juniors, based on all the scores that we've got available since game week 20. But he's got some really good numbers here, as you can see, some really good scores for a goalie. Could be a really good option. If you are after an American goalkeeper. So next up we've got news that another goalkeeper is also signed for a new club. And that is Atak Ozbia. He was playing for Yeni Malatyaspor. Who finished bottom of the Turkish League. But he's now signed for one of the better sides in the Turkish Leagues. Adana Demispor. He's signed for two years with an option of another one with the Turkish club. Now he's one that I've had my eye on recently. And he's one that I was trying to pick up on auction. I didn't manage to grab him, unfortunately. Uh, but he does look a very good goalkeeper. It's only 32 as well. He's limited at the moment. He's going for around 64 on auction. And his rare was going for around £500 on auction. Although I expect that to potentially go up now. The transfer has been confirmed. His current floor price is 723 Decent scores though, really. Considering he was playing for the bottom side in the Turkish League. Made a number of saves. Looking a really good goalkeeper option in the Turkish League now. Now he has signed for a better team. So next up we've got some information about Fleming. Who was of course playing with for Fortuna. But now they have been relegated. So he has been linked previously, Zian Fleming. With a number of clubs in the Championship. Including Huddersfield Town and Millwall. Looks like he is wanting to leave Fortuna Sittard. Because he does have another two years of the co on his contract with them. But it looks like they're agreeing to allow... Fleming to potentially leave for a reasonable price as well but this money is obviously going to come in useful still for Fortuna and there's been recent reports as well that Feyenoord apparently interested in Fleming but at the moment these are just rumours apparently but obviously Fleming would welcome that move so could Fleming be on the move to a different club potentially Huddersfield, Millwall or even better Feyenoord watch this space keep an eye on this one because this could be a really good player to pick up. He's only 23 still as well. He's got an L40 of 58 and L15 of 59. Which is more impressive considering that Fortuna Sittard got relegated. He's got a fantastic goal for this guy. I've had a look at his numbers. He's got a limited card of around 94 at the moment. And his rate is going for around 750 on auction. He scored 24 goals and 11 assists during the time that we've had this data from Sura Data. And in the last year, he scored 12 goals and 4 assists for a relegated team. And he's got some really good numbers as well. As you can see, he's looking impressive. So next up, we've got an information that apparently Liverpool are after Martin Terrier of Rennes. This season, the versatile striker has been nothing short of monstrous. In 44 appearances in all competitions, including 42 as a starter, the former Lyon player found the net 21 times and delivered 5 assists as well. Looking really impressive and you can see why big clubs like Liverpool would potentially come knocking for the Rennes player. Tottenham have also been linked as well apparently with Martin Terrier. But when it, if he did move to Liverpool, whether he's going to be first choice or not is going to be another story. You would think so, maybe he's a potential replacement for Mani Osane. He's got some really good SO5 scores though, an L40 of 60 and L15 of 69. He's only 25 still. Liberty is going for around 236 and his rare is going for around 1,183. And he's got some really good scores as we can see here from his score graph. He's got 21 goals and 6 assists in the last year. This is just in the league. So looking really impressive. So apparently 
Paul Pogba has re-signed for Juventus. And he's going to apparently earn around 7.5 million euros a year plus possible bonuses. So if Pogba could recapture his form that he showed when he was last time at Juventus, then he could be a really good SO5 scorer. He's still at 29. He's obviously got the involvement with the French team as well. You are looking at some hefty numbers though for this guy. 550 for his limited and around £2,000 for his rare card. He's certainly capable of some better scores though than he has at his time as Manchester United. Especially if he can settle at Juventus, which I don't think he really ever settled at Manchester United. So this could be another potential one if you are a Juventus fan. Some news here then that Rangers have signed John Suter, who signs a contract with the club until 2026. Suter looks a really good player already for the SO5 scoring. If we look at all his scores that we've got available, we can see some really good numbers when he is playing. I think he's been injured recently, but as you can see when he was playing, he was playing fantastically well. He's obviously now moving to a better club in Rangers, so he's expect his scores to get even better. It's not a bad price point either, £43 for his limited, 357 for his rare. Whether he's going to be first choice or not, I don't know, Rangers, but I thought it would be with such a long contract. So we've got our news of a double transfer here now for Venabachi. Apparently they've signed two fantastic players that are actually on my shortlist. Amir Hatsiometrovic and Abdul Karim Badaki. Both playing for Konyaspor, but apparently Venabachi have now signed these two fantastic players. One's a defender and one is a midfielder. So Badaki is the defender, he's only 27. We can see from his score graph he's got some fantastic scores in the last year, including five goals and three assists as well. The limited is going for around 57 and his rare is going for around 383. And midfielder Hadzi Metovic is also another fantastic player. He's a midfielder, he's only 25. L40 of 59, L15 of 64. Really impressive numbers as well. Two goals and four assists in the last year. And his rare is going for around 557 at the moment. And his limited is going for around £89. These two players are looking really good. And they should potentially get even better at Venabachi. So some really good signings there for Venabachi. Do your research on these guys. They are looking really solid. And I expect them to get first team football at Venabachi. For the month of June, I'm running a competition for my loyal followers on Twitter and YouTube. And I'm giving away an Alexander Sobolov Limited card. To enter the competition, you need to follow me on Twitter, subscribe to this YouTube channel. You also need to retweet the pinned tweet on my Twitter page, which will be the competition tweet. And the most important one is to comment on the YouTube videos throughout June right here on the Sora Assist YouTube channel. At the end of June, I'll pick a random video released in June. Then I will select a random comment in that YouTube video and whoever made that comment will win this Alexander Sobolev card as long as they have followed the entry criteria for this competition and that is to subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and retweet the pin tweet on my Twitter page. The card will be sent via so rare of course at the end of June after the winner is announced. So thanks for being a follower and subscriber if you are already and good luck in this competition. Now, another signing here in Argentina, and that is Emiliano Vecchio. He's now signed for Racing Club from Rosario Central. Now, Vecchio is a bit of a scoring monster when he is on his game. There has been um, rumours that he's put on a bit of weight recently, uh, so he's not been playing his best for Rosario Central. So I'm hoping that he can keep off the burgers and start <laughs> showing some um, form that he is certainly capable of. And if we have a look at his score graph, we can see some really good peak scores here from the new Racing Club player. He's got 11 goals and 12 assists with all the days that we've got. And in the last year, he scored 5 goals and 6 assists. As I say, he's been in and out of the team with injury and visits to McDonald's, though, unfortunately. But he is a fantastic player when he's fit and healthy. And I think he has signed a uh, contract with Racing Club until December 2024, as it says here. So that is going to be a good move for him. And he's obviously going to get his fitness back up to scratch as well. And I think he is going to get some really good scores as well. So he's got a limited card for around £16 at the moment. And his rare is going for around £175. So next up we've got information of Matthias Liz. 
is potentially moving to the Premier League. So and it's so there seems to be a lot of rumours that Southampton are interested in the Polish player. And apparently the Saints have offered the Polish goalkeeper a four-year contract for the 25-year-old. It's not known, however, the, what future awaits him at St Mary's Stadium. It's very likely that Matthias Liss will not will play on loan in the 2022-23 season and only later will get his chance to fight for the first Southampton squad. So it might not be the first choice straight away, so that's something to bear in mind if you are potentially looking at protection this goalkeeper. As I say there, he's only 25, still very young. His limited is going for on 45 at the moment. His rare is going for on 500. Decent scores as well for his old club, Altair. So he's looking at a decent option, but as I say, it may not be the first choice for Southampton. So another rumour is that Wolfsburg are interested in signing Ante Rebic from AC Milan. Now Rebic has unfortunately been um, left out of the team quite a lot recently due to injury and also, of course, due to the form of Raphael Lau. So this has mean that Rebic is not finding that much football recently, but it looks like Wolfsburg are potentially interested in end- ending that misery and offering him some first team football. If they make this move to the German club, I think Rebic is going to be a really good option to have in your SO5 teams. If you look at all the scores that we've got available on the SO5 survey score graph, we've got some really good solid numbers here. With all the data available as well, he's scored 25 goals and 12 assists. And as you can see, when he is playing, he is getting some decent numbers and he is capable of getting plenty of goals as well. And at Wolfsburg, I would have thought he would get that. He's only £21 at the moment for his limited and £239 for his rare. So the final transfer rumour this week is that Carlos Lampi has signed for Atletico Tucumán in the Argentina League. So apparently Atletico Tucumán made this official on their social media pages that they've signed goalkeeper Carlos Lampi, who of course is also the Bolivian national team goalkeeper as well. And it looks like he's got a contract until December 2023. Lampi is 20, 35 now, but that's still quite young really for a goalkeeper. And he is of course the international goalkeeper for Bolivia as well. So he has got some of that international utility. At the moment, his limited is going for around 57, and his rare is going for around 400 on the auction, and his current floor price at the time of recording is 490. And he's got some decent numbers as well. Most of these numbers are from when he's played for Bolivia, though, I believe. If we have a look, yeah, when he's played for Bolivia. Obviously, Bolivia are not the best team, but he still managed to get some decent scores here as well. So it does look a really good option. And for Velez, he's not really played that much first team football for Velez. But he's expected to be the first choice for Atletico Tucumán, I believe. But again, something potentially worth researching a little bit more. So that was all the transfer rumours for the last seven days. If you did like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to survey yet, there is a link in the description below if you did wish to do that. Get signed up today and get yourself a free limited card and 30 incoming cards. You can also become a member of this YouTube channel now by clicking that join button below for more details. Or become a patron of Sir Assist. You'll also get early access to any scouting videos on both these membership options. And on the Patreon, you'll also get extra scouting videos from me. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.